Dougie, let's go. Hey, 20, let's go. Go ahead, Carter. 2011 NCPA Championships first game of the day. University of Florida Gators taking on Ohio University Bobcats. And right out the get, here goes Pando getting into Snake 2. Pando's been doing a really good job help running this team. Looks like we got uh, three uh, Florida players coming off here real quick. Real quick like. Yeah, Florida not looking good off the break. Losing, it looked like two players off that Dorito side. And right now, they have a player in the snake, and he's trying to come out and get oh. a shot of Pano. Nice job. And I think he, oh, no, he got clipped in his goggles, too, and the ref's going to have, yeah, he's going to trade out. Yeah, that's a good trade, though. That's a good trade. If you don't have control of the snake, you don't want them to have that. Yeah, now no one in the snake for either team right now. Everyone stuck in that center of the field as Ohio pushing down that Dorito side, trying to take out the last player in the back center. I believe that's the last player, unless there's a phantom player in that Dorito back there, which it looks like it is. Unless somebody dug a trench. Bunker. Here comes a bunker to nobody, and yes! Picture perfect. And he is good to go. So, Ohio University winning the first point. So, good job of the Bobcats. So, yes, welcome. Here we are in Lakeland, Florida. Beautiful, sunny Lakeland, Florida. Checking out Saturday. Now, very important today. The winners advance, and the losers Don't will be advance. eliminated. So it's kind of an important day. A little yeah, bit. just a little bit. Kind of sort just of important. Bit. Also, um, I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping the heat's going to stay away. It wasn't that bad yesterday. You know, but we're so high that we get the breeze here, so it's yes. not you know, it's, it's, it's not bad at all, at least for us. So yeah, lots of great paintball coming at you today. Right now, we're watching the Florida Gators take on Ohio University Bobcats. We got next up. We got West Point Black Knights. We'll be taking on Florida Atlantic Owls. I think Florida Atlantic was playing stunning yesterday. Uh, they had uh, Travis Madrid and the Snake. Travis Madrid was phenomenal in the snake yesterday. I, I felt that out of everyone I watched play the snake, uh, he played the best. So we got that coming up next. After that, University Flames, uh, Liberty University Flames taking on Rutgers University Scarlet Knights. And then uh, the Pittsburgh Panthers, University of Pittsburgh Panthers, are going to be taking on Cal State, Be uh, uh, Cal State Long Beach 49ers. Oh, that's going to be a good one right there. And, uh, and then there was four teams that got a bye because they were the winners of their division. And that was University of uh, Connecticut Huskies, UConn, University of Ten uh, Tennessee Volunteers, uh, University of Maryland Terrapins, and a Penn State University Nittany Lions. Now, one of my favorite games of the day was Penn State taking on UConn. Oh, that was and a great that game. Was a, that was a crazy bloodbath yeah, game. definitely. That thing went back and forth. Yeah, UConn went up in the beginning, and then Penn State struggled early but came back and uh, ended up putting up, I think, four extra points on them. Oh, yeah. I think it was eight to four, so solid job by Penn State. So, yeah, lots of great paintball coming at you all day. I'm Maddie Marshall. This is Catfish, Kevin Arcilla, world champion. <laughs> we used to be teammates back in the day. Back many moons ago. Playing on the Ironman. Yeah. Speaking of the Ironman, we got Mike Paxson. He's going to be coming Hell up yeah. in a little bit. Yeah, here today. a treat for us here. All right, so we're about to watch the start of point number two. Again, first point went to Ohio University. Nope. All right, so on the break out, Ohio trying to keep five bodies alive, pushing aggressively up that Ohio center of the field to the standoff. Looks like one of them gets shot out of There's there. Another one coming out the middle here for Ohio. That's two players. You now, those both of Ohio's players in the center made it off the break. It just one of them got shot, lost a gunfight there in the center of the field, trying to shoot towards the Dorito side. And now, looks like Florida in really good position. Now, secondary up into that center of the field. Now they try to. You can see the players trying to get the snake there. Yeah, finally there makes that move. He's going to shoot a cross try and hit that guy in the can. Yep, eliminates the player in the can. We got a guy coming down the snake here, trying to clean up the left side. Looking for more more eliminations on the Dorito side here. Look like Florida's going to walk away with this point here. Yeah, so Florida comes gets right back on the board. It looks like this is going to be just a back and forth trade. Of I hope so. Point here. That's going to, yeah. That's what definitely. I want to see. <laughs> we had some blowouts later uh, in the afternoon yesterday, uh, and there's some really good teams here. So, 
and today I don't think we're going to see a lot of that. No. I think we're going to see a lot of uh, uh, seesaw battles back and forth, kind of like what we've seen so far. I also think it's interesting that you're looking at these teams starting to play a little bit more aggressively, and they're starting to play up in the center of the field a little bit more, and I think that that is because they have really started to learn this field. Definitely. And, and I mean, I'm sure that they're uh, sitting around watching, uh, you know, the other teams play and figuring out where they're moving and trying to, you know, counteract that. And you're looking at the screen right now. Now, in case you're just tuning in or you haven't watched paintball before, that is the snake at the center of your screen. The long bunker structure runs the length of the field, and it's pretty much key. You got to get in there. Now, this particular field layout, the, the snake is a little bit more of a finesse bunker. Uh, than it typically is. A lot of times you're going to have um, a snake that is going to need a lot of bodies to be flooded in it, and you're going to see crazy car crash battles going on there. And we have seen that a little bit so far this event. I think we're probably going to see a little bit more of it today as players learn this field. However, the Dorito side of the field, the opposite side of the field, at the top part of your screen, <laughs> is also very strong. Okay. And there's a lot going on on that side, and we're looking at it right now. Now, as you see, there's a lot of, there's not a lot of dead space over there. There's a lot of bunkers to play with. There's a lot of moves to make. And these players are starting to master and learn that side of the field as well. So that being said, that's a very balanced field. Yeah, pretty balanced. Unfortunately, I was always on the snake side. I know the Dorito side always looks nice to play. Yes. I get to play both sides sometimes. But kind of, I don't know. There are different types of sides. I mean, the snake is more typically... Uh, a more aggressive um, mind state you have to have. All right, on the breakout. Ohio making a powerful move to the snake here. Yeah, look, the and handle in. immediately gets into snake one. I'm going to see if he got clipped. It looks like the referee's going to get in there and pull him out. Nice yeah. job. That's two players. Oh, Three and a players. penalty has been assessed on, looks like... Pando. Pando. Looks no, like that's unfortunate for Ohio University fans. Look but at a Florida player coming all the way down to snake. Making his way all the way down, going to look for that cross shot, eliminating that player on the Dorito side. And that's a nice job by Florida getting in there. And that's Lowry, John Lowry for Florida. Working in that snake. And he is just polishing off everyone on the other side of the field, and his teammate's going to come and grab that flag. Definitely. So nice job by Florida stepping up here, winning point number two. Three, so it's going to be 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one, Florida. 2-1 Florida, and uh, Florida definitely stealing that momentum back from Ohio. And I'll tell you what, the, the story of that point was David Pando, Dave, getting a, a penalty there in snake one. Now, it looked like he dove in, or maybe it was on Brooklyn, Nick Kakuza. Looks like they're, uh, he's talking to I think it was. I think here. it was Nick Kakuza who's arguing with the referees right now. You can see in his bottom right-hand corner of your screen just kind of mulling about and very frustrated with the uh, turn of events for him and that point. Yeah. Penalties happen, though. you got to shake it off. Especially still a lot of paintball left to play. Six minutes and 51 seconds left to go here in the first match of the day. Looks like we got some uh, Florida players making their way out of the pit here. So, Catfish, what was the, uh, what was the best thing you saw yesterday? Anything interesting happen? Uh, you know what? The... The UConn and uh, Penn game was was a really good game, I have mm -hmm. to say. You know that Penn State UConn, yeah, yeah, that was a great game. That was definitely. Did you get to see? Uh, I can't remember exact because now last year David Pando had an amazing run through, and ran, I think he ran down the drill side and shot everyone, and then uh, spent um, you know so he spent thirty seconds just playing some stunning paintball, and then the following 30 seconds he spent vomiting <laughs> yeah. his guts out on his way back to the pit area and so apparently yesterday um there was a guy playing one of these bunkers and he was gunfighting 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 pauses throws up and then right continues back right, right back into it right back into yeah. it i missed it though i didn't get to see it and i wish i got to see it or I, we could have gone to town on that yeah, one yeah definitely yeah and it, so he text messaged me he's like hey the new puking champion is that guy and i can't remember what team it was but and i was like hey i didn't see it so you are still David Pando, still the puking champion. <laughs> I'm just saying, both those guys are lucky I wasn't up here when it happened. All right, and so, we're off. Yeah, and here at the breakout, you're looking at Florida on your screen right now. Gators trying to get that to insert bunker behind the snake. Important spot. Gun fights his way into snake one. Eliminating gonna, that back player on Ohio State. He's going to come yeah. around there. You see the kill count. Top of player Ohio to your screen. University. So three bodies left alive for Ohio as they have a player in the penalty box. 
having to start down a man on Florida on the power play, taking advantage wow. of it so far past the 50-yard line. Sending out heaters over here. Oh, oh, Lowry! Uh, just looks Lowry, right. just a little, just a little, you know, a little sloppy. But besides that, that was a great move into the snake to eliminate those key players in the back. Yeah, now they're up in the uh, center 50 in here. Lowry's back up. Irby trying to do some work. Looks like that player in the Doritos causing them some trouble here. Thomas Irby cleaning it up. Nice job, Irby continuing to play well for Florida Gators, and the Gators are on a roll. Three unanswered points for Florida Gators so far playing Ohio University. So Catfish, what does Ohio need to do right now? Um, they, what they, I, I think they need to shoot their lanes better. It looks like the guy for Florida is getting into that, the little temple behind, or the little box behind the snake at will, you know, and you got to kind of control that and stop that because if you allow the other team to get into the snake at will and just control that, you you know, it's going to be a pretty devastating day for you. Yeah, and the snake has, of course, you know, the snake, it's, that's paintball, man. Yeah, you yeah. have to get ground. You got to take ground. You got to be aggressive. And this snake is, its I think it's actually easier to get to than some of the teams oh, definitely. perceive it yeah. to be. Um, you know, we're seeing guys like uh, uh, Madrid, Travis Madrid from Florida Atlantic, who we're going to watch throw down in our next game. Yeah. Uh, he was making it there at will, essentially. Also, uh, Tossie. Tossie from uh, Liberty played the snake well. So there's some really good snake players yeah, out there. And definitely. you can't forget Tre Chris Treegarthen no. from Cal State Long Beach. As well as uh, uh, Cameron from Pitt. He was just, you know, controlling yes. that snake, uh, you know, very well. You don't want to butcher his last name. Yeah. I believe it's Durz <laughs> yeah. Durzak. Durzak. I just, you know. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a baller too. Um, also, Penn State has some amazing snake players. Yeah. You know, they have Mike Wickey and uh, um, uh, Dan, Dan Pastor. Yeah. Or El Pastol, like I like to say. Yeah, you know, or marinated and, pork. Yes, marinated pork. Well, he actually, he, he secondaries in. Well, not he does secondaries there. Uh, he's the third guy they bring in. Yeah. Because they got, uh, they got Wiki and they got um, Tyler Nalig. And yeah. those guys are just phenomenal on the snake side. They've been playing on that team for a long time. Especially Tyler, 15-year senior. Yeah, <laughs> super, super senior. Actually, he's not that bad. <laughs> uh, but it's, it was pretty funny because he graduated in December, but he has still been the way the rules work is that you can still play, but we were joking that he was going to get to play in the alumni game <laughs> and the championships at the same time, that which is been comical. Great. But yes, Tyler Nay, like awesome snake player and a, and a great guy, honestly. So so for and everyone out there wanting to go to college, they do have a 15-year plan. Yeah. Tyler does know about it. All right, so here we go. About to watch the start of this next point. Score 3-1 to one in favor of Florida. Looking on the breakout right now on your screen. That is Florida. Ohio losing that player behind the snake. Five One bodies again. alive for Florida. Gunned up, trying to make moves on the snake side. Able to get in the insert bunker. Looks like he might have got bounced. Referee in there checking him out. No, he was eliminated. So no one on the snake side for either team. Here we go. Ohio finally okay. making a move. Looks like they're trying to make their move into the snake here. Trying to control a little bit. Ohio losing two key players off the back. Back Ohio center is here. just losing. I mean, they're, they're, they're walking off. And another off. player is coming off the Dorito they're walking side. off wholesale right now. Yeah. It's never good to, when you, you you look over, I'm looking at Florida. I look over, I start looking at Ohio, and I just do three bodies walking yeah. off. It's, it's not looking good for them right now. It looks like they're having a two-for-one special over here. Yeah, and I'm, you're seeing Kakuza walk off. Yeah. It looks like he got shot trying to get out of the uh, penalty box. Yeah. It looks like this Ohio player is in trouble. And, yes, a little back massage for him as he comes off the field. So Ohio continuing to struggle here this morning. And Florida, four unanswered points so far after Ohio got on the board with a quick one. And they just, I'll tell you, they had that penalty, and they yeah. just they look flat right now. They're getting shot out of their bunkers. That's the biggest thing they're doing right now is um, there doesn't seem like they're losing a lot of bodies off the break. It's fundamentals, man. I mean, you can't just get into your bunker and just... Wrap your head out and think no one's going to be shooting at you, man. This is paintball, you know? you you got to be quick. you got to be, like you said, fundamentally sound about what you're doing in your bunker. Mm -hmm. so yeah, thanks for tuning in again this morning, bright and early. Well, it's not that early. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to thank our sponsors. This is presented by Empire, worldwide leader in paintball products, and by Die Precision, the choice of champions. Speaking of Die, I'm pretty excited to have my Mike Paxton yeah. come out here today. Love Mike. Mike. Paxton, ladies and gentlemen. Great guy. World famous Ironman player. World famous champion. We li I like to call him the gunslinger because, I mean. Just winning all yeah. the time. He's, Mike is definitely a gunslinger. <laughs> he is definitely a gunslinger. And he's one, Mike's a good example. If you're listening up out there, yeah. 
and you think, wow, you know, I'm just not small and fast, so I can't play professional paintball. Ridiculous. Yeah. Not true. Mike Paxson Mike is, is neither is neither small, small nor, nor fast, fast, but he is amazing. Yeah. Very, very, very good. So you practice those snapshots, man. You know, you just got to – snapshots are so key. You got to be able to just come out of your bunker and take that one shot. Absolutely. All right, looks like we have Alora, third member of broadcast team. She is down on the sidelines right now with some fans. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so who said girls didn't like paintball? I know I do, and I'm here with Joe and Caitlin, who are out here supporting the Florida Gators. Joe, let's start with you. Uh, what is paintball like for you, and who are you out here supporting? Um, I'm actually here for Dave Bowerly. I'm his girlfriend, and, you know, it's it's really competitive. It's They're really aggressive, a lot of fights. They're, everyone's always so pissed. I don't know. I mean, but it, it makes it fun for me to watch. I mean, I just sit back and like, oh, they're going to get into a fight. We're, we're going to go for it. Like, whatever. But it's, it's really actually really fun and exciting, and I enjoy it. You know, I support him. He likes it, so I'm here for him. Okay, and Caitlin, just tell me about paintball. Do you understand the game? I mean, what's the Dorito side? Give me the snake side. Um, what do you know? I'm not quite up to uh, date on all the terms, but I know the Doritos are the, the pointy things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's about my extent of knowledge. All right, thanks ladies. Can we get a, a, a little cheer for your team? Um, let's go Gators! Yay, Gators. Moving on! <laughs> yeah. We're actually doing really well right now, so all right. Moving on. All right, you guys tell us more about how they're doing up there in the booth. Uh, thanks, Laura. So yeah, it's uh, you know paintballs for everyone. Honestly, yeah, girls definitely. can play. And I told the story yesterday, but it's incredibly hilarious. We had this celebrity paintball match where these playmates were playing rappers and football players, and the playmates destroyed the rappers and football <laughs> players, literally shooting them into the ground point blank. It was the guys are rolling on the ground, writhing in pain. Oh, <laughs> Why God, is he doing this hilarious. to me? Oh, so funny. So yes. Big and small, old and young, everyone can play. And, uh, you know, it's good to see that the girls are coming out to support yeah, the men. So, of course. Definitely, even though uh, they're losing the battle on the pointy side, or as I like to call on them. On the pointy the side. The Doritos side. <laughs> yes, the Doritos are the pointy things. Yes. At the top of your screen. <laughs> just in case you, you just know. did. Or pointy, pointy things do, uh, you know, work as well. Yeah, of course, that'll work. Maybe I should change the call up. <laughs> pointy, pointy, and he's in the one. big pointy thing. Pointy thing, too. Yeah, I don't think that's going to fly. All right, you're looking at Florida on your screen right now. Gators playing. They're playing great. Honestly, yeah, they yeah. really are. They lost that first point at first uh, to Ohio, and they've just been just picking it up since then and uh, put four unanswered on the board here. About four minutes and 14 seconds, so a ton of time. And those points have been sport, uh, scored quick. Yeah, they were real quick. Four. Yeah. They were real, a real quick four points, huh? So here we go. See, coaches are out there trying to give some last-minute information. Uh, looks like a, a timeout had been called by Ohio. Trying to get their players, his players, uh, motivated. That's here. smart, man. Uh, honestly, you throw. That's when you throw. You throw timeouts when the other team is getting on a roll, and you got to do a. You're icing the other team down, yeah. and b. You're figuring out what's going wrong and try to fix it. All right, here we go. Watch Ohio University on your breakout. Nice. Looking at it from the snake side. Lose now the snake player here. Yeah, lose the snake Florida. player. Florida loses their snake player. And it looks like Ohio University losing their Dorito player. Pointy side. Yeah, losing their pointy side player. <laughs> Doubling up that back center. Ohio University rolling their guns, trying to get shots on the snake side of the field and Florida the middle side. The snake getting eliminated on the snake. Another Florida player coming out. So it looks like Pando's trying to work his way into the snake from the insert bunk right behind it. And he gets in there. Nice job by Dave Pando. All the way down. That's what Great I'm talking about. Right that's that's what, a good move. That's, that's what you need to do. That's what you want to happen. Yeah. If you get in there and no one is stopping you, you make your way all the way down. He's trying to get his team oh, back. Oh, eliminating that Florida player, trying to make a move to stop his move. So here we go. Oh, handing out face with Michelle on the pointy side. On the, <laughs> nice job by Dave Pando. Stepping up, getting his team back in it. That's a huge point for them because we talk about this three-point spread often. And this is where you do not want to yeah. let the game start to run away from your team. And Dave Pando is able to step up and pretty much, I wouldn't say single-handedly, because he definitely has some, uh, some boys left alive yeah. still, but he really made it an effort to get into that snake. And as soon as he got in the snake, no one was stopping him. And we've been seeing it all weekend long. You got guys, they, they get into snake one, the first part of the snake, the first part you get in right when you enter it. You're looking at it right now on your screen, that yellow bunker right there. Yeah. The first part of the snake. And they get there and they just sit there. Nothing's stopping them. No one's going to be shooting at them, but they, they're no, they will not prog progress up the snake. Now, David Pando, he slides in there immediately, guns up, nothing stopping him. He realizes that, and he has the high paintball IQ, and he just runs down the field, does a great job. That's pretty much where uh, paintball experience comes in. I mean, all the, all the players you see that play on, you know, 
on the amateur level and play on their you know local teams are going to be making that move. A lot of these players that mm -hmm. don't really are not you know paintball sound aren't going to make that kind of a move. They're just gonna stick like you said, stay in the back in that yellow bunker, you know, and not make that move. Yeah, and that's the thing. And you know, if you're out there and you're listening, if you get in a bunker. It's a pretty logical uh, progression of what you should be doing from there. When you get in a bunker, first, the checklist is simple. Is somebody shooting at me? No. Well, how do I tell? Well, is my bunker getting hit with paintballs? Are there paintballs whizzing an inch off the edge of my bunker? If they're not, well, then you head check. That's yeah. step two. So if I'm not getting shot at, then I don't, I don't just stick my head out or come out with my gun. The first thing I do is I head check. That just means you throw yeah. your head out. Bring it back real quick. You don't stick it and, and leave it out. There. And you're and you're looking directly in you know the, at the yeah. bunker, and you should have walked the field. You know who should be shooting at you, and that's the that's the first one. We call it checking off. So you check off on a, your first bunker, you check off on the next one, and then after you've done all that, which should happen in split second, yeah. then you can now you can start coming out and gunfighting. And then when you start gunfighting, if no one's shooting at you, nothing's stopping you. Giddy up, man. Yeah, man. Go down that snake. Giddy Go down up. that dread side. Yeah, exactly. All right. Score again, 4-2. to two. Ohio University finally again on the strength of David Pando playing on that snake side of the field, able to get themselves back in it. We got ourselves a two-point game right now. Trying to build a little momentum back. So now if I'm, I'm Florida, if I'm the Gators, I really, you know, we want to maintain that momentum. You want to understand that, look, okay, David Pando just had a good game. Let's shut that down. We know Pando's good in the snake. We know that he. We know where he's trying to get in there from. It's not a mystery. No. So put another gun on that side, but continue to do what they've been doing well, which is shoot guys out of their bunkers. Florida, is, if the Gators are winning their gunfights, and that's why they're winning this yeah, game. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I definitely am a big fan of sending that guy to that yellow stand up there, the can, because mm -hmm. that definitely shuts down the can or the snake side, I should say. Excuse me. That guy there is, you know, a safety valve. He controls what happens, dictates what if they're going to get into the snake or not. You mm -hmm, know. Mm-hmm. Look like Thomas Irby. I don't know what's going on right now. Looks like a, a, a timeout was called made by the Gators this time. Double timeouts. They need extra time to talk. You see the coach out there. Trying, maybe he's trying to cool the other side down, you know. Maybe he, he senses that, you know, Ohio's starting to p uh, pick up some momentum here. Yeah, but it's like, uh, do you do that? You're up 4-2, man. Don't let the, the team that you just, uh, you, that you're up against, ponder how the amazingness of their last point <laughs> you know it's like let's get this rolling man we need to get that momentum back yeah. we don't want this all this time to go by and you guys are sitting there critical thinking in their brains okay, okay well uh, should i do that game plan should i shoot off the break should i just run out there and die when you know you don't want that to yeah. happen you want to get that groove flowing definitely definitely want that groove you know that's what that's what separates a lot of a lot of teams some teams don't have the groove you know a little swagger no, a lot of teams don't have to groove. <laughs> How Ohio got its groove back. <laughs> How Ohio got its groove back. Well, Saw well, that in the movie. Well, we saw that in the theaters, and it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, now playing in Lakeland, Florida. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see here. I mean, it's 2-4. They need to get a little bit more of their groove back if they want to advance again. This is a do-or-die situation. These guys, oh. if, they, if they lose this game, they're out. That's it. Oh, it looks like Florida losing the player on the snake side here. So Florida, yes, on this snake side, no one on. Oh, see, well, two oh Ohio God, players look at this. coming up. Looks, yeah, two cell status. Yeah, it's not looking good on the backfield. Yeah, for Ohio, actually, they have three bodies left alive. Pano's rolling his gun. He's trying to get in that snake. And you're looking at Florida on your screen right now. And he, there, you see those guns are shooting to the snake side. Yeah. They're trying to keep Dave Pano out of the snake. There's Pano right there. He's gunfighting around that stand-up temple. Yeah. He's the only guy in the snake side of the field. There he goes. He makes this move. Right into the insert bunker behind the snake, and he's going to want to come around that. And you're looking at the snake right now. No one in that snake. We well, got a Florida player. Oh, oh, no, there the he snake. is. He's hiding in the shadow. In the shadows, <laughs> lurking. Just, you know, handing the cut here. Pando mirrors that move. So we got two players in the snake, one for both teams. Pando looking for that, that elimination across field here. Shooting towards the pointy side. <laughs> and. And now you can hear the coaching. This is probably this is some good coaching from both sides. Here. Well, the you see the coaches yeah. bottom bottom portion of your screen. The coaches a really good shot of the uh, Florida player laying down the snake right there, and he's just trying to gun up on Pano. Pano's yeah. shooting inside though. Pano's trying to get a shot on Dorito one and that back center, and he's keeping them tucked into that bunker like pretty tight. Florida player making that move to the next. Oh, he's gonna, he's going to destroy Kakuza over there or on the oh. snake. Oh, the, the coming down the pointy side. You got to do something, snake player. 
They do not, I'll tell you what, they do not know that he is the, the no. Florida player. Ohio does not know the no. Florida player is in Snake 2. Now, Pano needs to come and just run him down right now. Yeah. Pano should just come and run here him down. Comes. And here, here comes goes. the pain. Little, nice job, Dave Pando. Looks like they're taking care that of that. Is, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Pano. Good job by him. He comes down and cleans the last guy out. Playing aggressive, playing smart. That's good paintball right there. Yeah, and paintball. now we got ourselves a match. Three to four. As Let's Ohio see. fighting back against Florida Gators right now. Like this is what I like to see. A little yep. bit of a little, a little back car crash. And forth, huh? a little yeah, a little seesaw back battle. and forth in the morning. Definitely. So, Pando playing a great game in the snake there. Pando had his coffee this morning. <laughs> had his cup of joe. <laughs> yeah, Pando's a great guy too, man. He's uh I mean, all these all these guys out here. Are great yeah, guys, you I mean, know? we you know we talk about that, but it's it, it's important, man. I mean, Dave Dave's a good guy, and and you need uh, um, these teams are built on the backs of their of their leaders on and off the field. You Definitely. know that you've yeah. been you were a leader at the, at, at certain points in your career as you progress. You know, you start. It's like anything else. Just start out as a freshman. You start out as a rookie. You get on your team, and then you earn it. You earn that respect on and off the field by the way you carry yourself and you know how you represent and how you play man yeah. honestly and that's another big thing it comes down to that's the thing is that it's I, I get this question a lot too as far as well you know I'm, I'm the captain of my team and I don't know about how I should talk to my guys or this or that and you have like all these kind of intangibles that have, people have to worry about but the thing is man is it's really hard to be a leader um, if you're playing and you're not one of the best guys oh, on the yeah. team Dave Pando one of the best guys on that team and it shows so I think that if Ohio can summon some of the spirit that they've been distributing right now, looks like the wind trying to get back into it, right you know. Now. But Florida, Florida, talk about talk about wind. There's yeah. no wind in Florida sails right now. <laughs> All right, there's a big hole in their sails <laughs> at the current moment. Then he starts sewing that hole up. All right, so let's see here. Is the few remaining players are going out onto the field? Who are you picking in this game? Who you like right now? You know what? I, you know, it's, it's still hard to tell, man. I mean, both both teams are playing aggressive, and I like it, you know. But I'm going to go with Ohio on this one. I mean, they're showing some resilience here coming back from, this, from a, a three-point deficit. Yeah, so on the breakout, they lo oh, it looks like Ohio losing players on the pointy side. Oh, and there's a penalty being thrown over there on Florida, it looks like. Oh, and another penalty. So we have not really seen a lot of penalties so far. But today, uh, I'm sorry, so far in this event. Yeah. But right now, this is two penalties in one game. Yeah. Yeah. And which, I don't know if, if, if that's going to be a trend today as, as guys are struggling to fight and get in this tournament and do, do what they need to do. I don't know. We will see. It's do or die today. So, I mean, some of these players might be pushing the envelope and, you know, costing their team a, a win. So now Kakuza yeah. is in the snake for Ohio and another penalty. Oh, that's a main. And they take out the snake player. One of the key players on the on the field here. I uh, you know, I don't the refs are on it today or yeah, they are. I don't know what's going on with these some of these guys out there and just penalties on both sides of the of the of the board. And then now uh -oh. wiling out on the Drill side is Ohio University. Yeah. It looks like it's a one got itself a one on one. Yes it is. But then they blow oh, no. the horn. I don't why would you blow the horn? I oh time I no time, time runs expires. out. Time expires in the half. So that is gonna do it here for our first half. Look, we got so wrapped up yeah. in the game. We're like, like this game on? is amazing. This is great. There's guys just yeah. going crazy doing crazy things on the drill yeah, side of the field. Pointy side pointy things side <laughs> of the field. <laughs> pointy side. Do you see Jazz hands jump jazz over? Jazz hands jumping, jumping over. over the bunker trying to get, you know, his penalties, assess his penalties over yeah. here. You know? And the refs are on top of it today, I'll tell you what. Uh, and hey, you know, we talk about this all the time. Penalties will come to haunt you. And yeah. I think Chris said it best yesterday. Either stop cheating, uh, get better, okay. don't get caught. <laughs> don't get caught, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much what Chris wanted to say was don't get caught. You know? <laughs> or if you're not good at cheating, then, oh, God, I don't know what to, do, what to tell you. Chris Fast Hands LaSoya. Quick, Captain Quick Hands. Captain Quick Hands. That like was what, yeah, I was like, I'm trying I to remember. Him Captain I was trying Quick to remember Hands. the preferred nomenclature. Captain Chris, Captain Quick Hands LaSoya. Yeah. So he has the quickest hands in the business, I'm just saying. So right now, score three to four, still in favor of Florida. They have a slight lead. Yeah. However, the momentum is, is uh, definitely in a favor one point of Ohio. Lead is almost a nut, is almost an even score. And, and also, you look at that last point. I mean, that was crazy. You had a penalty on both teams. Uh, Kakuza gets in the snake, uh, and then he gets pulled out on a penalty. And then on the flip side, 
Florida looked like it, they brought it down to a one-on-one, -on -one, chopping guys up as they're coming yeah. in. Ohio University pushing down that Dorito side of the field. There's two guys left in, in the uh, penalty box. I was really excited, actually, to see what, what was going to go down because that's the type of paintball yeah, you like to see. Definitely. Crazy things are happening. Guys are playing aggressive, and there's two guys waiting to come back out of the penalty box, blazing, and uh, we didn't get to see it because it definitely ran. Definitely not. Uh, the ref the on the, the snake side, well, we, we like to call him... Uh, yeah, Jazz hands, he was just throwing those flags up and down. All right, so it looks like we have Laura Keeman. She is down on the sideline. She's got David Pando. Hopefully he's got something interesting to say. <laughs> okay, all right, Dave. So uh, you're absolutely dominating in the snake, making things difficult for Florida, even though they have the edge. Just talk about what you're going to do in the second half. Um, well... You know, we're going to adjust our game plan so that I can make it in the snake. They were kind of shooting me off the break every point uh, in the beginning. So finally we kind of figured it out and made some adjustments so that, you know, I was actually making it. So we're going to keep that going and uh, hopefully, yeah, run them down. We're also getting a lot of penalties. The refs are being very strict today. Uh, so, you know, we're trying to deal with that as well. Okay, what does Florida do so well that was making it so hard for you off the break there in the beginning? Um, I mean, they were they were shooting the snake side very well off the break. Their lanes are really good. They were getting kills off the break, and we were getting nothing off the break. So uh, that was the advantage for them. Um, but now I think we finally got our lanes down, and uh, we're going to come back in the second half. You feel like they've scouted you well, and they know who you are? Uh, I mean, they definitely know who we are, but uh, I don't know how well they scouted us or anything. I mean, uh, they're just they're playing good right now. That's all. All right, well, uh, we'll see what you do in the second half. All right, thanks. All right, guys, that's one of your favorites, Dave Pando. Dave Pando, always so well-spoken. All right, so we are at halftime, and we will be back after a few of these messages. The score is going to be 5-3 to three in favor of Florida. We'll be right back. Things to do with Empire Paintballs. You can paint a picture. You can paint a fence. You can paint your friend. But know that the paint will not remain, and Empire Paintball strives to reduce the impact of paintballs on the environment. Our RPS Advanced Formula Fill Materials are all listed on the GRAS, Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act list, and will not negatively affect drinking water, water table, or the field environment. Shoot the best, and know that Empire Paintball works hard to protect our planet. All right, so we are back here, Lakeland, Florida. First game of the day here, 2011 NCPA Championships. I'm Matty Marshall. I'm up here with Kevin Catfish Arcilla. Good morning, The everyone. man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Beautiful day so far. Let's hope the heat does not creep up. Got to about 88 yesterday, I think. At least that's what uh, everyone on the internet chat board was saying. But, you know, again, that's really not that bad for Florida. <laughs> not bad at all, If it stays actually. in the 80s and we're in Florida and it's not that humid, it's get nice, out of here. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it is a beautiful day. And it's not raining. Oh, God, it's There's awesome. Thunderstorms. Let's knock on some wood. Yeah. Pray to the paintball gods and let's know, hope we get a Everyone at, at home is aware that paintball, you know, is usually played in the rain for uh, some reason. Yeah, or, yeah, I mean, <laughs> pretty much you can guarantee that if you throw a major paintball tournament, some sort of chaotic and weird climactic shift is going to happen to bring us some some weird type of weather mother nature i don't know is not a big fan of paintball no for some not at all at all so story of the game so far 
Florida, they uh, they were starting to they, they lost the first point to Ohio, but then they went on a run. Yeah. Did did great and uh, definitely four point run, yeah, four point run stepped it up. But then Ohio starts getting back on the board. Um, we got ourselves a two point match, score five to three, and I think again it's all going to come down to who, it's just every it's always basic paintball one on one stuff until we get to those um, the battles going down and then it's going to become yeah. uh, individual play. But both teams need to get keep guys alive off the break. They've been pretty good at that. Um, but like Pando was saying in his interview, hey man, he, they were sh uh, oh, uh, Florida was shooting him off the break oh, a yeah. lot, and that was shutting him down. And but that thing is, is they and we watched the break, is that they have more than one attacker yeah. over here on the snake side of the field. Uh, they need Florida to losing a key player out the back of the snake here. It was like Pando doing his job. Like he said, you know, like he said in his interview, you know, they figured out what was going on, they made the, the proper adjustments, and you know, they're starting to come. Oh, alive. complete destruction for Ohio University on the Dredel side of the field. And now Pando trying to make a move into the snake one. He does, goes immediately all, all the way. way down. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you play the snake. No one's stopping him. No. Oh, so awesome. Takes out a Florida Gator player trying to get out. There's no one on this side. It's all Pando. Pando's got everyone's back. Who picks up the back player trying to get out there. Who's not able to clip him though. That guy's still alive. Now Pando yeah. needs to be careful because Florida has a man up on that Dorito side of the field. Now Pando should be able to get his back. Yeah. Uh, look, he's looking for that elimination across field here. It looks like he's battling back with the and he is going to shoot. Yeah, it yeah, and, and looks like he. I don't know if he got a shot. And there's still he still has two guys yeah. left alive too. So the two players left alive. I was going to say need to make a move uh, on there, that drill side. Oh, oh, he runs into guns. Meenan. Oh, Joe, what are you doing, bud? Um, Running down the open. So Meenan tries to make a move. Oh. Looks like a uh, panel battling with the guy trying to eliminate him here on the snake side. You know, Meenan is a pretty solid yeah. player. I don't know what he was doing over there, and you know he needs to let Pando go to work. Yeah. And just uh, and now he's it's kind of a, a bad situation for Ohio. Um, even though they got Pando oh. up there, it's going to Pando, oh, Pando making that, that him. key player and that was uh, holding them up here. And and Pando shot the guy in the dribble side of the field. Oh. So Pando having a game today. Oh, Pando stepping it up right now, keeping his team in it. Definitely bringing them back from the depths. We got ourselves a one-point game. Yeah. Candle walking off here. Is he going to throw up? I don't know. We, we'll keep an eye on him. He's a puker. He's a pu he's a puker. Bucket! I love Dave. I need a bucket! Dave's great. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's, Dave's a baller, man. Playing great right now, man. He's, he's, he keeps getting better. Yeah. Every year. That's... That's the thing, you know. These players get better every, every, you know, every year. I mean, you, it it's just comes with practice, you know. It comes with practice and all. And we, you know, Cat, you're somebody that spent years playing this sport, elevated your game, won world championship, was at the top of the game. But how long does it take? How many years does it take to cultivate paintball skill? It, to it get to it be takes really good. Many moons, my friend. Many, many moons. moons. It's, it's not like it's going to happen overnight, you know. And uh, and you know what, like. You're only as good as the people you play against. Absolutely. So if Great you're point. in an area where you're playing players that are decent players, you're going to be a decent player as well. You know, if you want to you want to step up to the pros or up to the D1, D2, you're going to have to elevate your, your game and you're going to have to find, you know, a spot where some of the, you know, some of the D1 players are playing at and some of the pros are playing at cuz if you like I said, man, you play against pros, you're going to play like a yeah, pro. Yeah, and you know? hey, and it's fun to go out to your local field if yeah. you're really good and destroy the, the the players that aren't as good as you. Yeah, that that's fun, but it's not challenging. No, not at all. And that's man. and it's not going to make you a better paintball player. What it does is build bad habits. It does. It it's builds gonna, bad habits. Absolutely. It's going to build bad habits. And if you want to be a good player, you need to actively seek out the best teams you possibly can play, ask to get a game in. I mean, yeah. you know, that's that is how it's done and and uh, and so it's it's great to see. And I've been doing this um, this this particular event for a series of years now, and it's just been awesome to see the progression not yeah. only of of the teams and, and and the level of play as a whole, but the in some of these individual guys. Like Pano's been out here for a number of years, and he's just been getting so much better. Same with Tyler Nalig for uh, from Penn and Wiki from Penn State. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Tony, Cost, Tony Costa from Chris, uh, from, from UConn. State. Yeah, Chris. But Chris is already good. Yeah. You yeah. know, it looks like wow, Ohio. Having three players in that back bunker, and then it looks like we're getting a penalty oh, assessed. And there's a flag penalty. from Jazz Hands being thrown up. So our head ref, <laughs> aka Jazz Hands, 
looks like Florida's uh, snake players and they're coming all the way down as instructed by his coach. Looking for that elimination across field. And that's Lowry. Nice oh, job by Lowry. Eliminating that guy at the back temple. Easting right oh, now on it. Ohio. Wow. Handing so, out the back rubs. So nice job by number 18 Lowry for the Florida Gators and backed up by Irby as well. And they just refusing to let that lead go. They yeah. just are like, look, check it out. We're going to let yeah. we're gonna trick you and <laughs> make you think you're getting back in the game. And then we're going to come and just steal your thunder. Yeah. And it's gone. And sorry, we still have the lead. We're, yeah, we are still here. It's going to be a two-point spread now. <laughs> Seven minutes and 16 seconds to go. Yes. So, not great. in their home, not in their hometown. And it's been a, you know, we've seen some action go down on the snake. I'm sorry, on the Dorito side, but ultimately it's been uh, it's been a snake battle. Story of the game has been Lowry and Irby for Florida, um, and then but uh, on the snake side, Pando for Ohio on the snake side of the yeah. field. Now, Kakuza also does play the snake sometimes, but he is not really having a great game right now. No, not at all. Um, you know, some, sometimes it happens. Some, sometimes, you know, some Absolutely. players are just, it's not, you know. It's not your day. Not your day. Not or your not day your though. game. Not your game. But you you got to shake it off. I mean, again, we talked about this yesterday. Super important element to, get to this particular event as well. The teams that are going to have success here are the teams with depth. Oh, yeah. You can't just have one star going out there and shooting everyone these teams are they're getting too good now yeah There's definitely they're you know like you said they're getting too good for this you gotta you gotta be able to play you know all sorts of different positions here absolutely and and i think some of these teams have a decent amount of depth you know you're looking at uh i think liberty has some depth um they got tossy on the snake side he's been stepping up they got a couple other guys that are ballers as well uh, and, you know university of pittsburgh i'm sorry uh university of connecticut huskies yukon is deep uh penn state is deep yeah. florida atlantic's deep these are good teams. <laughs> With some depth in them. Yeah, and you need that. You absolutely have to have that depth, especially as, as the, the event progresses on and fatigue starts to set in. Uh, also, there's not a lot of injuries no. necessarily in paintball. I mean, this isn't motocross. We're not jumping 50 million feet <laughs> in the air and doing quadruple backflips. Doing can cans. Can can <laughs> kick flips. Yeah. And crashing. But it, it's repetitive stress of diving into these spots over and over and over again at practice and now here at this event. It just does it wears you down, so fatigue will set in. Yeah. Looks like both teams coming out pretty much evenly matched. Looking like Hando coming all the way down to the snake. Looking for that elimination across field. And nope, not finding anything right now. Looks like Florida trying to get their player into the snake to uh, slow Pando down. Pando is just, uns well, I mean, they stopped him earlier on, yeah. but but the, the great thing about that for Ohio is that, look, it's like they know Pando's going there. Yeah. It's not like he's going, oh, God, I'm getting shot on the snake side. I'm going to go to the Dorito <laughs> side. No, he's, he's like, yeah. I'm running it, man. I'm, you know I'm coming to the snake. Stop me. Try to stop me. Yeah. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be in your kitchen making a sandwich, <laughs> and if you you don't want me there, then you're gonna have to stop me. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's pretty much what he's, what's happening here. Looks like the Ohio players are. They got one to stand up can, which is that safety battle I was talking about earlier. You know, just shutting down the snake, yeah. or at least shutting down or slowing. Florida and you look down. there, right on the, the top right hand portion of the screen is the referee getting in there to check him out. That's the safety valve Caps is talking about. What he's doing, you see, he's just totally gunned up. He has not dropped that lane. His gun yeah. has been up the entire time. Oh, and they're eliminating boom. that player. He just, I believe he just shot that player out. Yeah, from Florida. Florida. Yeah. Look at Panda going to work once again. Trying to eliminate that back player here. Oh. Yeah, Pando is just up over the uh, top of that bunker. Looks like he might have got caught. Nope. Nope. And yeah. Pando's on fire right now. Yeah, he's... Oh, handing out the back massage. Pando is just stepping up. So, Kakuza coming down that snake's our Dorito side of the field. Looks like Meaden is over there as well. Yeah, man, Ohio University. They will not go quietly into the night. No, they will not go quietly into that good night. Score yeah. is going to be 6-5 to five if the hang is clean with 5 minutes and 32 seconds remaining here in regulation. It looks like they're checking Pando's gun, making sure that, you know, <laughs> he doesn't have any kind of super machine in his hands, but I, I believe that's all skill for Pando. Yeah, you know, and Kat, we've seen some um, we've seen some close games so yeah. far this event, but this is the closest game we've seen oh, yeah. so far. These are the kind of games you want to you want to see. You know, you you know, a blowout. Um, if you're 
the team blowing them out could you know could definitely be a good time. But oh, it's I mean, great. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ten one games yeah. are great if you're the ten one. <laughs> yeah, if you're the ten. Not, you know? not good for us. Yeah, not exactly. good for the audience but, I mean, at home. But this is what you want. This you want a seesaw paintball. battle, right? Hey, now. hey, man, this is the do or die time. The winners advance and the losers go home. The yeah, losers are going to be hanging out in the kiddie pools on the sidelines, <laughs> watching the rest of the games. If you don't win, yeah, definitely. I, I, kiddie pools and on the sidelines, you know, and it's. N- it could be fun. Yeah, so but not as fun as winning so a tournament. These teams, yeah, not as fun as winning a tournament. <laughs> Absolutely not. And uh, and that's so that's what these guys are fighting for right now. So the losers are going to go on. Uh, the losers are going to go home. Winners are going to go ad- advance to the next round. And uh, I'm, I mean, this is this is basically Sunday paintball yeah. we normally talk about, but on Saturday. The dance. Yeah, this, this is, is the dance. This is what you, this is why you play paintball. You yeah. want to get into that really crucial moments where you're tested. That's the whole point of this. You want to see what you're made yeah, of. Test yourself every day, my yes, friend. Yes, absolutely. So, and that's what we're seeing right now. And I'll tell you who's answering the call, though his team is still losing. Got to make that point. Is David Pando? David yeah. Pando, MVP right now of this game, but doesn't matter. You know, like Tony Gwynn almost hit 400 for the Padres every year, and Padres sucked. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I hate to say that as a Padre fan. Yeah. Don't and I don't, don't even start talking about the Dodgers. I'm not, don't bring I'm it not up. I don't want to talk. Dodgers. I don't want to talk about it. I'm not. You know. However, but it's you know it's gotta be frustrating to be Tony Gwynn on the Padres back in the day, hitting 400 almost, and uh, and winning all those batting championships, and your team's terrible. <laughs> your team's terrible. But and, and again, Ohio's playing yeah. great. And it's the whole team's playing well. But the problem is, is that they're still losing. So let's see if they can actually tie it up right here. And oh, oh and, and it a looks penalty. Like, uh, jazz hands off. throwing that flag again. It looks like a three. Florida is just, I don't have, no, coming up. Like three, three bodies walking off at the same time. Oh, it's not a good move. Oh, oh Pando. Pando getting eliminated. Pando getting taken thing. out. Oh, man. Just, it, it's a bloodbath out there right now. It's craziness. It looks, it looks like only one player left alive for Florida. On the pointy Florida. side. Yeah, on the pointy side. Oh, man, this could not be good. This is, this is not going to be good for him. I don't know what's going on with Florida. They're just, you know... They're assessing these penalties, and it's not going to be good. I mean, I mean you, you got you got a very a Mario just shooting the yeah. last Florida player literally into the ground, grabbing that flag and hanging it. And you see the Florida player is going to need some help up. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. I mean, it's I don't know. I don't know if he got domed or <laughs> maybe got the back of his ear shot or something. Yeah. A little equilibrium messed up. Um, which can happen if you get triple tapped in your in your ear. Guess what? Tie game. Yes, it is. Tie game. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, you see the last Florida player still kind of stumbling around. Trying to figure out why his team are walking off wholesale his status. You get that, you know, that ringing. Yeah. <laughs> In your ear. The broadcast. What was that? You're Emergency like, broadcast system. Yes. That the <laughs> <laughs> Emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Yes, this is not a test. <laughs> Ohio University has shot you in the back of the head four times. And you have lost your lead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> poor guy. We've been there. We've all been there before. Yeah. Anyone's game at this point, four minutes and 32 seconds left. Definitely like to thank our sponsors, Empire, the worldwide leader in paintball products, and Die Precision, one of my favorites, the Choice of Champions. Choice of Champions. You can uh, kind of see the, the bite language on the floor players coming out of the pit. They're just heads down, you know, just... Moseying down, not even looking at the field, trying to figure out where their spots are. You know what? Why they're getting shot? And and the body language is, is key. Oh yeah. As you're watching these guys and they're playing out there, look for the body language. You can see it when they're playing. You can see it when they're walking off. You can see the frustration, and it's it's kind of tough to hide your emotions out there because paintball's so intense. Yeah. And your 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 adrenaline is up so much, and it, it's it's such a, a, a kind of a climactic thing that's happening. Oh, definitely. And um, and so because of that, when you see these guys kind of. Uh, and and I, I, don't, I don't think that Florida has um, the, that defeatist body language. No. But you can kind of see it's yeah. like, okay, look, we They've had our lost lead. Their, we lost, lost our lead. Swagger, you know? Yeah, you lost a little swagger. And, and you, have to, you, have to walk, you have to walk tall out here, man. You, yeah, can't, you, not, you can't show those. You can't show any weakness. No. You get eaten alive. Looks look at like this. Oh, oh, oh Meenan. Meenan all the way Wait. to the 50-yard line. A off the break. I love that play call. And it, he had just oh. destroyed Dorito. Drito 1. Drito 2 is still alive, though. And Drito 2 is going to have an angle on him. They are in a gun battle. Oh, and he's on their side of the Neenan. field now. Awesome oh, job my good. Awesome job by yeah. Meenan as Meenan runs down. Meenan, oh. Meenan, Meenan all the way oh. in the backfield. And a and major penalty on Florida. Or, no, Ohio. Oh, Ohio, I believe. Oh. 
Oh, that's so Jazz Hands is looking for a player to pull. Yeah. Nope, they're leaving that player in. And look at Florida has a player in the snake that I don't believe they know about. Oh. That was a great move by the Ohio player, taking out the snake player. Yeah, nice job. Ohio, they still have Pacuzo left alive in a crazy point. Awesome job by Mean, and he was able to make it all the way to the backfield of Florida before he drew a penalty. I believe the penalty was on was on uh, Ohio. Yes, it was. And here goes Kakuza running to grab that flag. Brooklyn trying to keep that time on the clock here on the penalty at least. And Ohio, after this, after off the strength of Meenan's amazing move. And the, poor, the poor kid, he's got <laughs> diabetes and uh, great guy. And it's also Ohio University has. Um, you know, it's the Nationals, right? Yeah. So for them, it's the Mustachinals. <laughs> so they've all grown mustache. Well, the guys that can grow mustaches have grown mustaches. <laughs> I was going to say, because some of the baby have, faces down there Some of the baby faces in. have, I would call, a pathetic, a, a pathetic attempt at a mustache. But hey, at least they tried. Then you're looking yeah. at the cameraman. Uh, every, hey, no one's safe out there. Nobody. I'll tell you what. The cameras aren't safe. The cameramen aren't safe. The coaches aren't safe. It's paintball. Yeah. And, I, I mean, you're looking at us right now. Wave to the camera, cat. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone, it's, hey, it's paintball. This is what happens. No I big deal, though. I think we need to take a marker down to Ohio so we can draw some of the mustachios on. Yep. Cameraman getting hit, too. Hey, it happens. <laughs> but yeah, so it's mustachial. So meaning, but uh, on the back of his, they put Debetus <laughs> is his nickname. That's terrible, right? It is terrible. Poor guy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what the, I looked at him, I'm like, hey, man, meaning, what, what is this all about? He's like, well, I have diabetes, and they put Debetus, um, and that's my... I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. That's terrible. Really? Yeah. But anyway, but the, the cool thing about that, or and there's nothing cool about that. However, he has the greatest mustache ever. <laughs> the greatest. You know, the, this, you know those epic, uh, well, I wouldn't say it was epic, but he's got a great handlebar mustache. Oh, okay. he, puts, he puts everyone else to shame over on, on Ohio team. University. Yeah. I mean, some of those guys look with their mustaches look like, uh, um, you know, 14-year-olds. You know, the first, <laughs> first time you actually get a little bit of the fuzz coming yeah. in, and you're like, I'm going to try to grow a mustache. Unfortunately, I can't grow a mustache, so I don't have one. Kind of looks like you if you try to grow a mustache. <laughs> I got that, that Spaniard mustache. Yeah, real yeah. thin, the, not their mustache. That 1700s yeah. pirate mustache. <laughs> the thin little stylish thing. It looks like I have dirt on my lip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Cat, you got a little something on your lip. Yeah. And it's still there. It's still there. It's still, oh, no. never mind. Yeah, it's not, not going away. This is a little spot right there. Looks like I have patches. Oh. So, just in case, you know, three minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock. Tied up. If this game is tied at the end of regulation, we will head to a sudden death overtime, oh. which is always fun to watch. It looks like the refs are congregating in the well, middle uh, of the field it's here. Uh, got a zebra oh. convention out yeah. on the field <laughs> discussing intricate matters of rates of fire, where they're going to eat tonight, <laughs> how good Buffalo Wild Wings was last night. <laughs> Man, I had those honey barbecue wings. And delicious. it was delicious. Oh, I had the, the garlic parmesan. They were great. Talking about their stylish headwear. <laughs> stylish. <laughs> Trying to figure out, okay, this is what's going to happen last night. We're going to go here, have dinner, and then go watch a movie. But I don't know what movie we want to watch. <laughs> I don't know what movie. Well, you go over there, and he stands over there. Hey, can I borrow your goggles? <laughs> They're way cooler than mine. Where'd you get that head wrap? That's sick. Did you get that online? Oh, I don't do a lot of shopping online anymore. Someone stole my credit card number. Oh, God. Looks like the coach is talking to Jazz Hands trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, uh, well, I, you know, speaking of, I'm, I'm just, as we're pondering thoughts, I'm pondering what Laura is thinking about right what now. What is she thinking about I don't right know. now? Let's, let's, uh, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's try to get down to her and see what's going okay, on. Okay, I'm thinking about these mustaches down here, some great facial hair from these Ohio University guys. Talk about mustachinals. Why'd you guys do this? Um, last year I just had an impulse to wear a mustache, so we got a crew together this year, so I wasn't the odd man out, and we got a hearty crew of mustaches now, so just for fun, just for good luck, so, yeah. Well, some of these mustaches are better than others. Yeah. I feel bad for some of you guys. You, you've got it going it on. It took a while, like a month, so it was, yeah, but, yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun, so. Okay, so if, if you guys have a lot of success here, as you already have, do you feel like the mustaches definitely came into play? Oh, definitely. The mustaches are a huge part of our game plan. Yeah, I can barely see yours. <laughs> I know. It's sad. I tried for like four weeks. Couldn't get it. That's all right. The, the guys up there in the booth can't grow mustaches either. Actually, just kidding. Maddie can. <laughs> Back to you guys. I actually shaved this morning. I don't know. Yeah. 
He shaved this morning, believe it or not, yeah. and he just came right back in. Well, and also I can control it, you know, so I want it to grow longer. I just like, oh, when it just comes out like spaghetti factory. <laughs> what can I say, you know? I'm just plagued with awesome, <laughs> with amazing facial hair. <laughs> yeah. Pale skin, yeah. lots of facial hair. Let's Man, see if we can get a mark down Irish, to those guys. Expect? <laughs> Red beard. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Pops. Actually, his hair is... He has a black mustache. Actually, talk about good mustache. My pop's ridiculous mustache put all the mustache on boys to yeah, shame. Yeah, definitely. Maybe not meaning, but, you know, everyone else. Your dad's had a mustache as long as I've known him. And he's had it since, like, ought two. <laughs> 805 years <laughs> old. Sorry, pops. He's not watching anyway, so who cares? <laughs> he's not watching anyways. No. Uh -uh. I'm going to call him right now. Just wait. That's why it's always it's always great to see, you know, like Tyler Nalig from Penn State. His, his dad is here. It's always yeah. great to see that interaction. I, I didn't get to have that. But I didn't really care. He's like, hey, Dad, I'm going to Orlando playing the World Cup. That's great, kid. Have fun. <laughs> Make sure you clean your room <laughs> before you leave. <laughs> By the way, get out there and mow the yeah. lawn. Have okay. fun before you leave. The dishes are dirty. <laughs> Do them. So, yeah, it's great to see. I, I always... Anytime I see a dad that's around, I'm all, I always try to make a point to say, hey, man, it's really great that you're supporting your yeah. kid and what he does, and uh, especially if the kid's really good. You know, Tyler's good. Yeah. So, I mean, when your kid is good at something, it's, it's awesome to, to kind of be very supportive. Definitely, especially when they come out and they're pretty proud of their, you yeah. know, their kid and, and what he's accomplished. In the rare, rare point point zero 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 one chance my dad is watching this, he actually was kind of he was supportive. So, Pops, thanks. But anyway, <laughs> all right, so we are uh, – Seven to one right now, and we're looking at three minutes and twenty-one seconds to go before the start of this next point. Oh, I'm sorry, before the end of the game. Oh, end of the game. I'm hoping I want tie game. I want sudden death overtime. Yeah. I want it to come down to one-on-one -on -one epic three-minute one-on-one battle. That would be awesome. Yeah, I want the two best players to be left alive. I want them to be ringing around the <laughs> rosy in the front, in, the, in that center. Pocket One of them grab the flag. Oh. Also, if you're looking for a place to play or any more information on paintball, you know, visit ncpapaintball.com and get the information you need from the yeah. PBA Nation uh, field and store finder. And PBA Nation's a great website, man. Oh, if you definitely. want to know anything about paintball, and I'm talking about anything, if you want to know what, what screws goes into a 1988 autococker, you go to PB Nation. Oh, yeah. If you want to know who's playing on Dynasty, you go to PB Nation. If you want to know where to play paintball, go to PB Nation. PB Nation. Looks like we... Uh have a little time here. Players uh, trying to figure out their game plans. Yeah, in case anyone, I was not a uh, crazy reference. An autococker is an old paintball gun, as any any paintball player will know. I've never heard of that. Match making stuff. You're a again. liar. That was our preferred preferred gun for years. So smooth. Our marker of choice. So smooth. So it looks like we have a technical timeout going on the field right now. Not sure what is going down. Uh, again, lots of awesome paintball coming at you. This is the 2011 National Collegiate Paintball Association Championships here. Lakeland, Florida. I'm Maddie Marshall. Um, Kevin. Kevin Fisher. We'll see ya. We're here. And uh, we got, again, lots of awesome games coming up next. We've got West Point Black Knights going to be taking on the Florida Atlantic Owls. I can't wait to see that game. Tell you what, West Point, man. Those talk about getting better every year. Yeah. That team was years ago was you know a speed bump for re realistically they were they were a speed bump for a lot of teams and um, and now they've become a brick wall. You yeah. know I mean you have to really fight against those guys. They're really good now. Oh, they're definitely. playing, but they're stepping up. They're playing a really good team in Florida Atlantic Owls. I can't wait for that game. I I, I want to see what the Black Knights are going to bring this year or this game. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, Travis Madrid stunt over here on the snake side of the field again. Right after that we got the Liberty Flames with Tosh Point oh. Tosh Nick, to Nick Tossi. Tossi's an awesome, awesome player. And uh, they're going to be taking on Rutgers University Scarlet Knights. All right, here we go. Three minutes, 19 seconds left on the clock. And we're looking at Ohio break out. Aggressive moves up in the center. I oh. like how they're playing, man. Florida getting eliminated on the uh, Dorita side here. Look at like Ohio's uh, putting that, like, put that player in that safety valve I was talking about earlier. Yes, Florida losing another player, uh, doubling up that back center, and then losing their third player out of that back center. Oh, right. Does not look good for Florida no. right now. Looks like it's a two on five now. Yeah, it's two on five, and Ohio in the driver's seat. So now what Ohio wants to do is slow the game down, yeah. make the other and team the concede the point, so you go up two. But you want to take as much time off this clock as possible. Time is not the friend no. of Florida right now. Yeah. And the Ohio coaches letting his players know, don't, you know, control and just, and just you know, wait a little bit. And 
Florida continuing that point, it looks like. Smart move on their point on their part. Yeah, it, that was a very smart move on Florida uh, for Florida. The Gators at this point, look, two minutes and 32 seconds left. Now you're down two. Hey. And this is crucial. This is clutch for them. That was a very clutch pull of their coach to throw the, the towel in, concede that point. Yeah. In case you're just tuning in, there's 10-minute halves. Uh, if there's a tie at the end, it will go to sudden death, and uh, each team gets a timeout per half. Now, if, if you're losing the point in this situation, what you want to do is you, don't wanna, you can't let that time go too much down because you need that time to score points. Two minutes and 32 seconds left. You can definitely score two points. Oh, definitely. So look for an aggressive breakout from Florida Atlantic. They want to keep as many bodies alive off the break but be as aggressive as possible. So what I'm thinking, they should be going up that center of the field. Oh, we definitely. watched Meenan for Ohio run all the way. He ran, he ran to the 50-yard line A off the break, shoots. Uh, the shoots destroys the Dorito side, and what that happens is when that happens really quick in the game, everyone on the snake side of the field mostly is focused on that side of the field. And when you're able to get that quick jump, get up there, push aggressively, mow a couple guys down, you can come around that A and then mean it, boom. He launches from the A, gets into the backfield, starts shooting backs. He does draw a penalty, so one of his teams was about any of that. But the point is, and we've seen it all weekend long, the, no one's really getting shot off the break going up to that center. Not at all, man. Not at all. So it's almost like no one's really looking for that move. A lot of teams aren't, you know, aren't using that move. They should, they should be using that move because no one's really shooting that lane, you know? Yes, they, they should. And the thing is, and there you're looking on the screen. Now, the A bunker, I'm talking about 50-yard line, right in the center of the field. So you've got the snake midpoint of your screen. In the top right corner, that's the 50-yard line A I'm talking about. They have the little cakes behind them, those little tiny bunkers. That's the go. structure. Now, what can happen is guys are running to that spot off the break. They don't stop at that little cake, the little bunker. They go right to the A, and when they get to one side or the other, the snake side or Drito side, and you're able to lock that side down if you get up there a lot. All right, so let's oh, see. The oh, the penalty. The Florida player did not get up the two in time. That is just a huge mental error. Yeah. Oh, Wilson for Florida. Gators blowing it. And uh, let's see if his team can get it up. And are they, oh, Ohio looks like Ohio. Yeah, Ohio losing a player off that Dorito side, Cat. Yes. Off the pointy side here. It looks like uh, Florida trying to make a move on the snake side here. Oh! Looks like the safety valve is alive. Yeah, that's on Ohio. That center stand up bunker rep getting in there and checking them out. So three players for Florida Gators right now and Ohio University. Oh, oh, oh. And, and that safety valve eliminates the snake player and gets eliminated himself. So crazy point so far. Lots of bodies coming off. Looks like uh -huh. two bodies left alive. Look for at Florida into the snake now. Yeah, Florida, and they need to go quick though. They got a minute and 40 seconds, yeah. and they need to score this point fast and give themselves at least about, I mean, at the very least, I would say 45 seconds. Yeah. And even that being said, that is that is not a lot of time with this field layout to score a point. Yeah, don't look for Ohio to make any any kind of crazy moves because, I mean, they got the lead and they're just trying to eat up this clock right now. So it's John Lowry, number 18 for Florida Gators in the snake right now. Oh. And you're looking at their boom in that center of the field. There. Yeah, and it's, it doesn't look good for Ohio as Pando stuck in that stand-up temple. Oh. He gets shot and a penalty. And a penalty on Pando. Minor penalty on Pando. Lowry having a game in Snake for Florida. So there we go. It's going to be probably about just under a minute left. Yeah, 59 seconds left to go here. 58. 58 seconds to go. So the score is going to be 7-8. to eight. Got ourselves a one-point game. Florida at least giving themselves a chance to tie it up. A good chunk of uh, time there. Yeah, and I'll tell you, hey man. That's awesome. This has yeah. been a great game. This is what I want to see. This is a Saturday ball. These guys are fighting for their lives right now. The winners advance. The losers are eliminated. And it's going to be, I, I'm really looking forward to, to watching uh, the rest of these games because I'm hoping this is what we're going to see oh, yeah. all day long. Seesaw battles. That's what you want to see. You want to see intensity, man. And both these teams are bringing it right now. Yeah, both these teams are definitely bringing it. Um, uh, both of, and, the, and their standouts on both teams, again, I think that the MVP so far of the day is David Pando. But, hey, look, man. This is one of those things. Pando comes out, gets stuck in that temple, a stand-up temple. Uh, he gets ended up getting shot, gets a minor penalty. He's got to shake that off. Yeah. They need him to run. They need him to run hard. And um, you just that's one of those mental mistakes. You've got to just let it come off you like Teflon. You know? Yeah, it's, it's, you've got to forget about it, man. That was, it's the past now. It's not, it's not happening right now, you know? Yeah. you got to 
keep your mind in the game. Yeah, and an, an interesting note, and we, we have mentioned this, but today, see what happens is we talked a lot about this yesterday, and we're gonna, you're going to listen to us talk about this more. The situation is, look, these guys have had a whole day to play this, to play this field. They've practiced this field before the event. They've watched all the other teams play this field. They've scouted the other teams, and basically they're putting themselves in a situation to play the best paintball they can. They're learning those little nuances, those, those little tricks, the little angles, and it, you can, it really shows. And I yeah. think the, that, but this is what happens, and what happens is you start to see a more aggressive style come out because, A, they want to step up, they want to win the event um, just for pride and for their teams, and, you know, hey, they're it's being bragging televised. Rights, it's bragging, bragging rights. rights. It's bragging rights. But also, it's just the, the fluid nature of paintball strategy. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's a complicated, it's a simple game, yet very complicated on the back end. <laughs> you know, say five guys with guns are yeah. on the other side, shoot all of them, grab the flag, and hang it. That's paintball in case yeah. you're unfamiliar with paintball. And if you get hit with a paintball and it breaks on you, uh, you're eliminated. You know, it's a simple game. It's like golf. Hey, take the ball, hit it in the hole. I, I, I like to uh, think of paintballs like chess, man. You know, It is. Chess it's with just guns. Like, yeah, chess with guns. It hurts a little bit, but, you know, not yes, much. But it, it hurts in a good way. In a good way. It hurts, hurts so good. It hurts good. so good. So you're looking at the goldsmith, the coach for Ohio. He actually played for Tennessee, so it's funny. Tennessee not really happy about that. <laughs> but hey, you Why know, would they be so happy about that? <laughs> hey, man, you know he's he's got a job coaching. <laughs> you got to diversify you do? You can't, these you can't days. Fault you know? <laughs> someone for getting a gig. That's that's hater status, man. <laughs> There's always haters out there. Oh, you know? uh, there are a lot of haters, be out, haters there. out there. Lots of haters. So. Where it stands right now, 58 seconds left in our first match. You are watching the University of Florida Gators take on Ohio University Bobcats. And we have ourselves a one-point match. Look for a very aggressive uh, break for the Gators. They yeah. have to. They have 58 seconds up to score a point tied up. Now, flip side, Ohio University Bobcats. Look for them to try to get five bodies alive and just nonstop shoot their guns. Control the guys, and because Florida's got to come at you. They have to come aggressively down the field and run into your guns. There's a no other way that it can be done. So, I mean, they know it's coming. Now they just got it. Now they just got to giddy up and, yeah. or, I'm sorry, or dig in, roll their guns on the guys coming at them. Yeah. And it, you know what? I think, I, I believe, I, you know, Ohio players are just going to take all four of the back bunkers. I don't see them coming out of the blue zone at all. No, I, I don't think so either. It would be a, uh, they might even they might double triple up that back center. <laughs> quadru- all five might, players yeah. back there, you know. Yeah, I, do, I don't I don't foresee them coming out of that blue zone at all. Uh, yeah, we saw some quadrupling of the back center yesterday. And I'm like, did it hey, work? guys, um, <laughs> four guns off the break in the center. You're sending one runner out. I don't know about that. <laughs> Here we go. You're looking at Ohio's break. Let's see how many guns they have up. And you're looking at Florida. Here's Florida digging hard. All the way to the state. Oh, the eliminating break. the A up off the, the break. center. So they roll the guns, They're able to get out, uh, shoot out Irby heading up in the center. Time starting to tick down. 45 seconds left. They see if they can do it. Ohio with four bodies alive. Looks like Florida has a snake there and making his way all the way down. Or three. Looks like three bodies alive for Ohio as they. They just got to roll those guns, man. Non-stop shooting up the goal. Oh, they lose the back center. This could be a tie game. Let's see if Wilson can get it done here. Oh, Kendall getting eliminated. I think they're going to do it. Oh, very nice job by yeah. Florida Gators. Tying it up with 15, 15 seconds, seconds left to go. We got ourselves a match. Love it. Oh, man. What a way to start the day off here. All going to be tied up at eight apiece now. Phenomenal job by Florida. They did everything right. They shot some guys off the break. They made their spots, or at least they made one of the important spots. They made it to snake one off the break. They got shot trying to get up in the center. Did not matter, though, because the remaining Florida players were able to march down the field. And, I mean, they scored a point in 30 seconds. Oh, man. That was actually yeah, a little bit more than that. I'm sorry. They scored a, scored a point in about, you know, it was uh, about 45 seconds. Yeah. Was it 45? Yeah, it was 45 yeah. seconds. 43. Oh, man. And it's a game. We got ourselves a match, boys and girls, <laughs> here in the morning, Lakeland, Florida. I love Central Florida oh, paintball. Yeah. We're in Central Florida paintball. Uh, love this field. There's lots of tournament, local tournaments here if you're in Florida and you want a place to play, come out here. And if um, you, know, you want to find a place to play, go to ncpapaintball.com or go to PB Nation. Also, like to, again, thank our sponsors, uh, Empire Paintball and Die Precision, for helping make this happen. So, yeah, we're going to be throwing down paintball. It's going to be coming at you all day. So, I'm... They're probably going to play. I wonder if they're going to burn the clock or if they're going to uh, burn the clock and just go right into sudden hey. death. 
or they're going to play out 15 seconds. Now, realistically, uh, 15 seconds. Well, I would too. And we, we had this conversation yesterday with, uh, when Oliver was up here. We were thinking, or we were you know, conversating back and forth about what the, the long, or shortest point had ever been. So, and this came from one of Oliver's buddies who texted him this information. <laughs> so I don't know if this exactly is uh, according to Hoyle, but yeah. um, but uh, 10 se 11 seconds was, I believe, the uh, was the fastest point. Fastest point. So it can be done. No, actually, they're yeah. going to burn it off. They're okay. going to burn it off. We're going to head into sudden death. All tied up at eight apiece. Man, Gators taking on the Bobcats. I love oh, it. Man, Gators are not going quietly in their hometown. Not at all. Oh man, this is this is great. This is uh this tournament paintball right here. Yeah, this is what it's all about right yeah, here. Yeah, so nice job by Wilson, man. Wilson from uh, from the Gators getting into the snake and able to come down here and, and handle business. So and he's heading out. Irby's heading out for Florida. Look for uh, look for Ohio to put out definitely. You know, not, you're going to see Pando out there. You're going to see Kakuza. You're going to see Meenan. And uh, I, I, this is uh, this is going to be a battle. Oh, what would you do? What would your uh, breakout be if you if you're Florida? What's your breakout? My breakout would be I would send a guy to the snake, a guy to the safety valve, and then two guys to the Dorito, and keep their the guy in the back. So back ex the explain the safety the safety valve for people at home that wouldn't understand what that is. Safety valve, pretty much, is the valve that's going to keep the player out of the snake. You which, know, so which bunker is that? That would be the yellow bunk, <laughs> the yellow can, the yellow stand up can right to the left of the A that you're seeing on the screen at the current moment yeah, right now. So center. Uh, Pretty much center of the field. Yeah, that guy right center. there shoots that open lane that you see right there and keeps that snake player from going anywhere. Because he, he actually can shoot down into the snake as he's trying to make crawl around the yeah, back part. exactly. So that, that stand-up. And again, paintball is all a game at angles. Very rarely. I mean, you, I wouldn't say very rarely. Um, as, as far as percentage-wise, how much you're battling the person right in front of you. Yeah. It's it, that's not your best shot. You know, when you're engaging in that, you'll see these guys and they're locked in these gunfights and they're they're fighting the guy straight ahead of them. Now that's not that's a low percentage play. If you're just sitting there gunfighting, snap shooting with each other, and the snapshot is just come out, shoot one ball, come back in, yeah. come out, shoot a couple balls, come back in to your bunker. That's a low. That's a, you're rolling dice there. You're playing craps. Yeah. And you don't want to do that. So the smart way is um, now if you're an amazing gunfighter and that's one of your really the skills you've cultivated, then you're going to be engaging in more high-risk behavior yeah. uh, on a more regular basis, and you're going to win the majority of those gunfights. But still, it doesn't matter. Even if you're gunfighting somebody who's not as good as you, that's a low-risk play. So again, paintball game of angles. You want to get as much ground as possible. You want to shoot cross-field because that, those are where your best shots lie. <clears throat> we got five seconds on the clock here before the next for our overtime play. Here we go, this is it, sudden death overtime, and on the breakout, you're looking at Ohio University digging out, aggressive on that Dorito side of the field, and it looks like they lose their player trying to make it to Dorito 1, a back corner bunker still alive, the referee, you can see the top of your screen underneath the kill count, trying to get in, looks like he's clean, it's kind of it's scaring the, the uh, Bobcats fans for a second, anytime you see a ref run yeah. over to somebody, you're like, oh, look for a penalty flag, yeah, look for it, wait for it. But Florida able to keep five bodies alive. A little bit less uh, aggressive breakout from Florida as they take the stand-up tempo on the snake side of the field, back center. And now Pando into the snake now. So Pando's in the snake, and he there's no one stopping him. No. But the stand-up, here's the thing, though. If, if Pando comes around, comes around, oh, oh, and Pando oh. looks up into a ball, oh. that's a bad loss for the, for the Bobcats. So now just three bodies left alive to try to salvage this game Real for Ohio. Cool. Now, oh, whoever the winner of this match will be facing the Connecticut Huskies at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Huskies getting the bye because they won their division this year. Yeah. Looks like Florida looking to make that move into the snake at the moment. Yeah, what a what an awesome seesaw battle yeah. back and forth. We watched, you know, Ohio went up first, then Florida came back, shutting Pano down in the snake. Then Pano started to stunt, had an amazing game. It went just back and forth, oh. and then Florida coming back. You know, they only had a, a couple minutes, a minute, less than two minutes to score two oh. points, and they did it. It's tied up, and here we are. Oh. Florida losing the player. Oh, so Florida starting to get chopped up, pushing aggressively into the line of Ohio. And here comes Ohio coming down the snake. Oh. Big move all the way down. He doesn't get caught. Oh. Tries to trade out. That's a Mario. And oh, it looks like a penalty. penalty, man. The refs are on top of the Jazz here. And so if there's, it looks like there's one, two remaining Florida players and one Ohio player. So it's just, it looked like, you know, Amaro just pushing a little bit too hard and heavy. That envelope right, right on the lightning. Sometimes you get zapped. Oh. And it's not, and here comes the pain. So it's Wilson in the snake, and it's probably not going to matter. Yeah. And Oh, no, it's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Did he trade out with him? Oh wow, look at this No, one-on-one -on -one one -on -one. situation. It could have been better. We could yeah. have had a more dramatic finish to this game. 
That's why I called yes, this. Yes, it is. Yes, I called you this. called this, right? One on one. One on one oh. against Wilson. I can't see who's left alive for Ohio. You know what would be great if they, they kept doing this one on one for a minute and then that guy came out of the jailbreak and just mowed down Wilson. Yeah, Wilson cannot go to sleep yeah. on the penalty box yeah. as Ohio is going to get a player back here in, in a little bit of time. Yeah. So basically, the Ohio player just. Oh. Needs to Nope. Ohio, the Ohio player should not be engaging right now. No. I mean, he should be snap shooting, but he should not be monster gunfighting right now against Wilson. He's going to get another body out. Yeah. What needs to happen is contain Wilson. Oh. Oh, Wait he a gets minute. a shot. No, no he's, he's clean. clean. Oh my God! So what's gonna here's the thing? Like I said, contain Wilson yeah. and wait for your guy oh to God. get out of the penalty there's box. The guy, the guy in the penalty box. Look, you see this great shot right here, and they're in this gunfight. It's Wilson, number nine, for the Florida Gators. All tied oh, up. The coach telling them that the, the box is about to be released. I don't know if Wilson can hear him though. No, he's not even paying attention. Yeah, because the coach for Florida is on the opposite side yeah. of the field. So Wilson. Now, I'll tell you, what would be great is if that guy comes blazing out of that penalty box and, and trades out with Wilson. Oh, that'd be awesome. Because Wilson has to engage with that guy. He uh, can, Wilson cannot he no let choice. that guy come out of the penalty box alive. No so choice. he's forced to engage with him. Great job by Ohio. Here, Again, here he's just chilling in there. Here he comes. You can hear everyone oh, screaming from the sidelines. Yeah. He's going to try oh, to... God. He's going to try to come out of that box and just blaze Wilson. That's what I would try to do. I'd just try come to right trade at him. him. Come right at him. I'd, I'd force him to engage. I'd try to not get a penalty, but I would really try to yeah. force him to engage. Because the problem is if he gets another penalty, it's going to pull the last player. Yeah. Now Wilson making a move. He's totally going to sleep on the penalty box. Got to be real careful at this point. Wilson trying to force the issue. He has to at this point. Yeah. Oh, people wow, yelling the this. penalty box. Oh, here comes the guy. Look at the penalty. Oh, he eliminates him. And he has no idea about the penalty. He comes to jailbreak. Yeah, I don't know if the jailbreak's going to come out in time. Let's see if he's going to be at Wilson able to oh, hang it. And wow. Wilson able to hang it before the penalty clock expires. So great job by Wilson from the Florida Gators. Wow. That was awesome. Good job. Standout performance. Number nine, Wilson. You can see him there walking off victorious, and it, on the strength yeah. of that play, we couldn't, we couldn't have got. I, I yeah, called that. Awesome. Tell me I did not call that. <laughs> called it. You I said three minute. What I was like, it's, we need to go to sudden yeah. death. And what a great comeback by Florida. You see him yeah. spilling out onto the field right now. There's Thomas Irby. He played yeah. great to keep his team in it. Wilson played great snake side. I mean, the whole team stepped up to, to get back in it. And uh, I mean, they were down by two. It was eight to six with a minute and 45 seconds remaining. They fought back. They win two quick points. They won a point in under a minute. Yeah. And then they play a, a pretty crazy sudden death point. Comes down to a one-on-one. -on -one. And like I said early on, <laughs> I get, you know, pay, hey, paintball gods, give us a three-minute epic one-on-one -on -one sudden death <laughs> They victory. heard you. They heard you, and it was given. Wilson coming down that snake side, pretty much putting his team on his shoulders, yeah. you know, yeah. carrying them to the finish line. Hey, and I'll tell you what, man. If you have not seen tournament paintball, this is what it's all about. This, yeah. is, this is how it happens. This is tournament paintball at its best. This is basically, you know, we're watching the best college paintball players in the United States throw yeah. down right now. No, the best, yeah, yeah, and, and, and this is what this is hopefully what we're going to see all day long is guys wanting to earn that title, wanting to win that championship, and Florida going to be advancing on to face the University of Connecticut Huskies. UConn, very strong team, yeah. very deep. They actually went undefeated this season until they played Penn State, which handed them the first loss of the season yesterday. And that and that was a that was a battle right there. Yeah, and that battle is going to be going down at two o'clock. Next up, we got the West Point Black Knights taking on the Florida Atlantic Owls. That's going to be a good game. Florida Atlantic played very well yesterday, and really, again, my, my as far as people playing the snake uh, and playing the snake methodically and aggressive, and it had to go to uh, Travis Madrid. Yeah, Travis yeah. Madrid, standout player. Yeah, you came out of the Rage Camp, I believe. So no, that yeah. was a, not a big surprise to me when I heard that. I'm like, oh, of course. You know, Rage, a uh, historic, legendary professional paintball team out of Florida. Florida played yeah, for definitely. years um, and won tournaments, and uh, they're no longer around. But you know, but they're they're uh, they're is still being felt. Yeah. You know, their uh, their power is still being felt with uh, Florida Atlantic, which will be coming out here shortly as we see a, a dejected Ohio University. Uh, they have got to be disappointed right now. They had the lead. I mean, to, to lose a match like this when you're up two points with a minute and 45 seconds left, 
uh, that's just got to be so disappointing for oh, them. Definitely. I mean, you know, you're sitting there in a situation, Cat, where it's like, look, man, all you need to do is carry out a couple extra pots of paint and never stop shooting our guns. Oh, don't, you know, stay in your bunker. Stay alive, you know? Don't get into dumb gunfights gun because, I mean, that's what's going to cost your team. Yeah, no, exactly. And that's, you know, and it, you, it just, you can see them there. They're huddled up right now and, and having a conversation about what went wrong. And they've, you can see them. All, the, all their heads are down almost yeah. as if they're in, like, some sort of uh, requiem. In which they are. They're in a requiem for their... Uh, <laughs> requiem for a dream. Yeah. Jeez. A requiem for the death <laughs> of, their, of their collegiate champion paintball dream right here. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. I mean, and hey, hats off to them. They, they also played well, too. But this uh, is a team that's going to be back. You know, these guys, yeah. these guys are not going to stop coming. You yeah, know what I mean? No, exactly. They're not. All right, so it looks like we got Laura with Wilson from a victorious Florida Gators down on the sidelines. All right, Laura, what does Wilson have to say? All right, Jeff, so this one ends in an epic one-on-one -on -one battle after going back and forth the entire time. Just talk about the intensity of being out there by yourself, knowing that you've got your team on your back. Uh, it was rough. Uh, I thank God for my coaches. I um, wasn't really paying attention to anyone but big man. Helped me a lot. Um, and my Dorito side, looking where they are. Um, didn't have a clue. Running out of paint. Kind of sucked. <laughs> but, I don't know, we did it. So, it was rough. Well, it couldn't have ended in any better way, right? Yeah, correct. I was happy. Okay, so just what were you thinking when you were out there and, and you realized that this one really was on you and there was nothing else you could do? I didn't want to mess it up one bit. Everything it's on my back. It's Okay, well, Ohio University, very talented team. Talk about what Dave Panda was doing in the snake and then kind of taking his team on his back as well. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it was, I don't know, it was rough. It, it was fun going to the snake, then doing that. Um, just happy, I guess. I don't know. Okay, well, ne next up, you guys face UConn, a pretty tough team. Have you seen anything from them yet? Yeah, uh, we watched them yesterday, and we got to stay on top of our game, else. <laughs> it might go down, but it's going to be rough. Just as probably just as bad as as uh, Ohio. So. All right, but maybe you'll tough that one out too. Hopefully, knock on wood, we will. Knock okay, guys. So Wilson says it's rough. What do you guys think? <laughs> yes, rough. Well, at our final, Florida nine, Ohio eight. Devastating loss for Ohio. Congratulations to Florida as they advance to play University of Connecticut Huskies. I'm Eddie Marshall. We got Mike Paxson. He's coming up here in just a few moments. Do not go anywhere. Right, so we are back here, 2011 NCPA Championships. I'm Matty Marshall, and I have the Ironmans, Mike Paxton, up here. Mike, how are you doing, bud? Very good, very good. A little, little drive getting up here, but it was awesome. That's okay. <laughs> how far do you 